Hey, Chris, as you mentioned, it's been nearly one year ago since her son died, and now the mother of Shane Sutherland is seeking justice and accountability. What's the problem? Why are we getting called on you? Oh, the huh? Stockton police body cam video shows 29-year-old Shane Sutherland detained by officers outside this AMPM store in Trinity Parkway in North Stockton. Oh, it's yeah. on camera. Yeah, All I got to do is go look. I I Sutherland, the father of two young children, like was this. allegedly threatening to hit someone with a wine bottle. He admits to police he's under the influence. Uh, You're high out of your mind right is, now. This is cocaine. Cocaine? Yeah. Sutherland eventually makes a run for it, but officers grab him and hold him down. In a complaint filed in court, an independent coroner hired by the family alleges, quote, officers continued to apply unnecessary and deadly force for approximately three minutes, even as Sutherland showed apparent signs of respiratory distress, ultimately resulting in asphyxiation. It's a constant nightmare I wake up to every single day, and it was not justified. My son was of no threat. But ultimately we are calling for the criminal prosecution of those officers because based on the facts they unnecessarily took a, a life and used excessive force where really none was warranted. Darlene Ruiz, whose son Trevor Seaver was shot and killed by a Modesto police officer last year, was there in support. I feel her pain. Um, nobody understands what it's like to lose your child and by a police officer. At the time the body cam video was released, police said Sutherland continued to resist while in custody as officers tried to restrain him. One officer held Mr. Sutherland down with his body while the other officer used a control hold, pressing a baton against the man's shoulder to hold him down. At one point, Mr. Sutherland stopped breathing and was unhandcuffed. One officer then tried to save his life. Now, we reached out to Stockton Police today, and they told us, quote, we don't comment on pending litigation. We also reached out to the San Joaquin County District Attorney's Office. They told us the case right now is, quote, open in an ongoing investigation.